Elon Musk and Tesla finally reveals the new GigaPress 2.0, the future of Tesla car manufacturing. In Tesla's big factories, there are gigantic machines that are super heavy and very large. They're so huge that they could fit an entire apartment inside them and still have space left. To move these machines, they need more than 20 big trucks, which shows you just how massive they are. When it comes to these machines called GigaPresses, it was not Elon Musk who gave them their name, but a company called Idra. Tesla uses these machines mainly to make car frames in one big piece very fast, which is different from the usual way that involves putting together many smaller parts. In this video, we're going to see how Tesla is revolutionizing automotive production and how they're expanding their GigaPress manufacturing empire to more places in the near future. The GigaPress works like this. It pushes really hot liquid metal into a mold that can be used again, but it does this on a very, very big scale. Making a car frame with the GigaPress happens in several steps. First, they spray oil into the mold so the finished frame can be taken out easily. Then they melt a special kind of metal at a very high temperature and push it into the mold with a plunger. After it cools down in the mold and a robot takes it out, they dip it in water to cool it even more. The last step is to check the frame for any problems, fix them if there are any, and make the necessary holes for easy assembly in the next process. The amazing thing is that all of these steps take less than two minutes, which makes the GigaPress a big help for Tesla in making cars faster. One of the biggest advantages of the GigaPress for Tesla is how fast it is. These machines can turn melted metal into a car frame in less than 100 seconds, making Tesla the fastest car production company in the world. According to calculations by JP Morgan, if Tesla had 10 of these machines in one factory, they could make 350,000 car frames for the Model Y in one year, and maybe even more if they use the machines really productively. This fast production helps Tesla reach its big goals, such as making 750,000 cars by the end of the year, and even more in the future. Another good thing about the GigaPress is that it makes Tesla's production leaner and more efficient. By needing fewer people to work on the cars and less space to make, them, Tesla can save a lot of money and production cycle time. Just one GigaPress can replace 300 robots, which is something Elon Musk likes because of how efficient these machines make Tesla production. Also, with these GigaPresses, Tesla doesn't have to make lots of parts in different places and then bring them together. They can do everything in just one place. Now, Tesla's also building more gigafactories equipped with these in different countries. Some countries like Turkey really want Tesla to build a factory there. They've even talked to Elon Musk about it. Tesla has already introduced one of their cars in Turkey and made some places for people to charge their car, but they have haven't decided yet if they'll build a factory there. Meanwhile, Tesla is building a gigafactory in Mexico, and Elon Musk might announce another place for a factory by the end of 2023. India offered to have a factory before, and there have been rumors about Canada and Saudi Arabia having a gigafactory, but Elon Musk said they didn't talk to Saudi Arabia just yet. At the same time, Tesla is working on a new electric car that will cost around $25,000. That's about half the price of their older cars like the Model 3 and Model Y. Elon Musk wants to make millions of this new car, and they're changing how they're going to build them. First off, they're working on something called the unboxed process. They make big pieces of the car separately and then put them together. German researcher John Philip Buckler of the Free University of Dortmund believes that Tesla's unboxed process is revolutionary, adding, this is much more than modular production. It's eliminating steps that were standard, creating new patterns of working, increasing speed, and reducing complexity. But then again, there's a new report that says Tesla is secretly working on a more advanced manufacturing manufacturing technology called GigaCasting 2.0. It's different from what they showed us in March when they've been using big castings for some parts of their Model 3 and Model Y. These GigaPresses are rock solid. They even have a super strong one for the Cybertruck, as the Cybertruck is designed differently and thus requires a custom manufacturing method tailored just for it. Tesla has learned from the Cybertruck experience and aims to improve the manufacturing of the $25,000 car by using a massive casting machine to create the car's entire lower section in one piece. They hold a patent for this casting machine capable of assembling up to 400 parts simultaneously, a breakthrough in automotive manufacturing all in itself. Reports from Reuters, historically reliable in their predictions, indicate that Tesla is potentially working on a project referred to as GigaCasting 2.0, a 16,000 ton GigaCasting unit for the entire underbody of this $25,000 car. Nevertheless, it's crucial to recognize that Tesla retains the flexibility to alter their manufacturing plans or designs as and when necessary in the future. 
But here's the twist. This new Giga Casting 2.0 idea is different from what Tesla talked about before. In March of 2023, at Investor Day, they showed the unboxed process where they built the front and rear parts of their next generation car separately, and then finally assembled all of those parts together in one single process. They said this would make things faster because workers could work on each part easier when most of the parts are still unassembled and in their individual pieces. However, Hide Oba, a former Toyota consultant and the son of Toyota's legend, Hajime Oba, warns that Tesla's unboxed manufacturing requires precise synchronization and may not support multiple vehicle models due to its radical approach and limited flexibility. That could become a drag on the company's overall efficiency since Tesla's model lineup is sure to be more varied and complex in the future, he said. But now it seems like Tesla might go back to a different way of building the car, where they merge everything together into one big piece. And the center of this big piece would be the battery. Separating the battery from the front and rear parts makes it easier to work on. But with this new Giga Casting tech, Tesla might put them all together for some structural benefits. According to Reuters, what Tesla showed in March might not be exactly what they're planning now. They might change their plans because of this new technology. Also, the car they showed in March was a Model Y, not the next-gen vehicle they're working on. There's also a new die-casting breakthrough that Tesla has been working on, and Tesla's thinking about using this die-casting method for their car platform. Making die-casting molds can be really expensive, up to $1.5 million. And there are extra costs for testing and trying things out, which can add up to about $4 million. Even with this initial high cost involved, especially with larger molds, Elon Musk has been driving the manufacturing team in Tesla to explore this method even further, to achieve a more transformative cost reduction for long-term benefits. And this in turn has Tesla working with design and casting experts in the US, Japan, Germany, and Britain, who are using 3D printing with a special kind of sand to make molds. They use a big printer to layer the sand and mix it with stuff to make it strong. This special sand is used in lots of industries and can make molds that are really detailed and can be used again and again. This new way of doing things can make molds quickly and cheaply, saving up to 97% of the cost and cutting the time it takes to make them in half. In simple terms, a special way of making things with hollow parts using sand molds is pretty cool. You can take the sand out after making something and use it again. Regular metal molds are still used for most stuff, but this sand method is good for trying out new ideas and making molds faster. Tesla is in the process of deciding between these manufacturing methods, so the adoption of an ultra-large Giga casting method is tough, but if done correctly, this new way of making cars could change everything. With this method, Tesla might be able to develop a car from the ground up in just 18 to 24 months, which is way faster than any other automotive companies. It might also mean that they can have a smaller factory and be capable of making cars quicker. Instead of using many machines, they might just use one expensive machine, which will save them money. Decisions about how to make the $25,000 Tesla car in Texas are all about how much it costs, how fast they do it, and how good the car turns out. They might try new ways, like the sand method among others, but it depends on what works best. So which casting method do you think Tesla should go with and why? And will this new ultra-large 16,000 ton giga casting interfere with Tesla's revolutionary unboxed process? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more cutting-edge EV tech updates. Thanks for watching.